So you want to talk to us a little bit about um, the billing process mm -hmm. here in the city, what types of bills people would pay to the city and how they typically do that now and maybe with the goal of trying to get more people to do electronic billing and, and how you've got about doing that. Okay. Um, we have about 3,500 3, water customers. Um, so we send out monthly bills, plus we, um, if they haven't paid by the 15th, they also get bills sent to them, late bills. So, and we have a large quantity of those that go out as well. So a lot of paper goes out. Um, we did, uh, a little over a year ago, implement an online utility billing where they can receive, they can choose to receive their um, bill just by email, and then they wouldn't get it. It takes them off of our mailing list, and then they don't get it. Um, and they're also... Um, able to pay their bill online as well. And we have had a huge response on that. On um, the paying or getting the information? Paying online. We okay. still have a lot of them that are signed up, but they still are wanting that paper bill. Okay. So um, hopefully, you know, try to encourage, continue to encourage people to sign up for their email bills. Um, and then we also have, we are implementing a um, voice response system where they can call in and they can check on their account balance um, that is currently up and running where they can check on their account balance, they can make a payment over the phone, um, they can find out when their last payment was, how much is due. Um, but another part of the feature of that is um, we can we have the ability to call out. So on the 10th of the month, those people who haven't paid their bills yet, we can do a call out um, to all of those reminding them that their bill is due to try and reduce the amount of penalty letters that we're sending out. Gotcha. And then we can do we can do that call out for anything and we can do it, you know, on the 20th of the month to remind them, well, if you don't pay by 25th, you're going to get tagged to try and reduce the number of tags that we have to go out and actually put on the doors, which would help reduce the paper too. So um, all we're doing is we're waiting for a fix with our finance software and then we're ready to go with that too. So that'll be a nice feature that we're hoping that will really cut down on all the late bills that we have to send out. So, so approximately how many people do you think do the electronic? The online? Online, yeah. There's probably several hundred that do it. Okay. I can get more exact numbers for you because um, I think you may have sent that. To okay. Us. All right. Um, so, and that's something that we track monthly because the council kind of wants to know if that investment was good, and um, it is helping a lot. So, the more less we have to send out for penalties, the better. And if we can provide any way for them to pay it any other way, you know, that's that helps. So. But we are trying. We do need to try and encourage people to get their email. But I don't know if it's just that people don't. Maybe we just need to do a push bar. And they just need to remember to click that button because it's just a simple click saying, "I just want my bill by email," and then they don't get that. Is there the opportunity out there to do that by texting at all? I don't know. We'd have yeah. to look into that. I know that the voice response thing that we're doing, we're also capturing all the emails. So we can also we should be able to push out an email to people too. So yeah. if we can utilize both of those and try and email bills out too. So it's definitely something that's on our radar for yeah. once it's out there and available through our software company. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, anything else on um, like paper waste or anything else within the department that you've been aware of or? Um, we. When once we started recycling here, we really saw a huge reduction in paperweights because I mean all of our reports are huge. Well, a lot of people, um, we now most desks have two screens on them, so you know you're not having to print the report to enter it into something. People are using both, utilizing both screens so that they can have the report up here and enter gotcha. from that over here. So that seems to have helped, and then just you know the amount of garbage that's been reduced by not throwing the paper in there instead of throwing in the recycling bins. I thought it would take a while for people to catch on, but within that first month it was, I mean, everyone just knows that's where you put your paper. So it's been really, really good just having those around and, you know, making sure that people are using them. So. And I also understand that you've gotten just a lot more paperless, like with even the council meetings mm -hmm. and things like that. Yep, yep. Yeah, a lot of our meetings, if we can, we're trying to use um, paperless so there's always some that still want the paper copy but we try to we always have an extra on hand just in case we need to print it off but um, a lot of them are used to using the computer screens to run the meetings and stuff so that's gotten a lot better